My name is Chandler Friedman, and I'm the founder and owner of World Gone Silent. Today, I want to talk to you about getting your amateur radio license. In order to operate on amateur frequencies, the FCC requires that you have an amateur radio license. They give you a call sign so you can identify yourself when you're on the air, and there are three types. There's a technician license, which is your most basic level of license that lets you get on the air, operate on some of the bands, but not all of them. There's a general license, which lets you operate on more bands and use different kinds of modes and things like that. And then there's the amateur extra license, which is the highest tier. It's the PhD of ham radio licenses. It lets you operate on all of the available frequencies and various modes and all kinds of cool stuff. So for the technician license, that's the license that you need to focus on to just get started in ham radio. And that's what our kits are all about. The technician's license test has about 35 questions made up from a pool of 426 possible questions. There are some people who just try to brute force memorize all 426 questions in their answers. That seems a little silly to me but some people do it. The way that I recommend people to get licensed is with a piece of software called Ham Test Online. These beautiful geniuses in Arizona have come up with a way to explain the material and teach it to you in a step-by-step -step way that makes perfect sense and makes things very clear. The great part about their technology is when you learn the material, you take practiced questions that come from that huge pool of 426 possible questions that can be on the test. Now the software learns what questions you get right, what questions you get wrong, and from that can figure out where your weakest areas are. So as you learn the material, the software learns about you. Because of that, HamTest Online ends up curating what it teaches you to focus just on your weakest areas, so you aren't wasting your time going over stuff that you already know. I told you, these guys are freaking geniuses. Ham Test Online is great. I tried a bunch of other ways personally to get my ham radio license. There were books. People said, oh, just buy the book. I, tried, I worked on that thing for six weeks and I got nowhere. When I got on Ham Test Online, I started on a Wednesday. Saturday, I went and sat for the technician and the general tests, and I blew through them both. Once you've learned the material, however you choose to do that, then you need to find a local place to take the test. There's a couple ways of doing that. The most obvious way would be to hop on Google and just search for ham radio test in your local city or county or area and see what comes up. A second way of doing that is to go to the ARRL website and look around there to see where they are posting different places that are offering the tests. Of course, the ham radio test isn't going to teach you the practicality of how to use your radio, how to turn it on, how to get it working, anything like that. Just turning it on, that doesn't even get covered. We give you the practical knowledge that you need so you can get on the air, start making contacts, and start learning more and more about radio. You can even hear this one chirping at me now. That's a digital mode. So those practical things are some of the stuff that we're gonna cover here. They're also, of course, covered in our kits. If you wanna learn more, go ahead and follow us, like, and subscribe. If you're interested in getting started in the hobby, we definitely recommend going to the website, picking up one of our starter kits. Quick way to get into the hobby and get on the air. Thanks so much for watching. Talk to you again soon.